Colombian coffee is known as one of the best in the world. This position is the result of a unique combination of special factors, such as the natural and geographical diversity of our country, the hard and honest work of thousands of men and women in the coffee plantations, and the support of solid institutions which work for the well-being and quality of life of its coffee-growing communities. In Colombia, coffee is the driving force of development for 57% of the country's municipalities and its production takes place in an area of more than 3 million hectares along the Andean ranges. We export an average of 12 million sacks a year to 35 countries, which generates work for 700,000 persons in the rural zone. Overall, around 2 million people depend for their living on coffee production in Colombia. The coffee grower's success lies in the capacity for associative work based on solidarity. 95% of our producers belong to families of small farmers whose farms are smaller than 3 hectares. Nevertheless, their determination has helped to create a model of development for the world which enables them to achieve peace and prosperity. The Coffee Growers of Colombia a model of peace and prosperity. In 1927, with the visionary aim of establishing a competitive and sustainable coffee culture, the country's coffee growers joined together to create an organization that would represent them, the Colombian Coffee Growers Federation. Nowadays, the Federation is one of the world's biggest non-governmental agricultural organizations and has turned into an essential factor of rural development in Colombia. Its mission is to ensure the well-being of more than 500,000 families of coffee growers. The coffee growers mandate was that their organization be responsible for research and the transfer of technologies that would ensure a competitive and sustainable coffee culture, reinforce the social fabric of their communities, promote Colombian coffee throughout the world and strengthen its value chain. For eight decades, the Federation has successfully followed the mandate of the coffee growers through its commitment to become an organization devoted to excellence. It now counts on a management model internationally recognized for its high quality, which is based on the integration of processes, the implementation of balanced scorecard indicators, a model of human talent performance and quality service certifications. It is worth noting that the main strength of the Federation lies in the fact that it is a democratic, non-profit and representative organization. Since its foundation, its statutes have allowed the producers to exercise participatory rights and share their concerns at the local, regional and national levels. Every four years, when its elections take place, its coffee-growing members elect representatives to the National Congress of Coffee Growers and the Departmental and Municipal Coffee Growers Committees, the bodies responsible for defining the policies and programs the organization will carry out. The Coffee Growers Federation, the organization which represents Colombian coffee growers, is considered a world model for such institutions. The collective savings of the coffee growers give them access to public funds. These payments are deposited in the National Coffee Fund, a public treasury account administered by the Coffee Growers Federation under a contract with the government. One of the most important benefits of the public funds to which the Federation has access is the guaranteed purchase of the coffee harvest, based on market prices and transparent indicators. The Federation likewise provides technical, business and social assistance and support to coffee growers through the more than 1,500 persons who work for its extension service and the scientists of its research institutes. Other important assets are the promotion and advertising of Colombian coffee and such value-added projects as the Buen Café freeze-drying plant specialty coffee programs and Juan Valdez cafes. 
The Federation's promise to the coffee growers is to find more and more opportunities to add value to their products through technical innovation and the development of its strategic plan. The world increasingly relies on technological advances and appropriating and incorporating them into rural communities increases the competitiveness of coffee growers and ensures more equitable conditions of rural development. We thus count on such innovations as the Coffee Growers Smart Card, legal clinics for our members, educational programs like the Virtual Classroom for Coffee Growers and leading-edge projects like the SICA Georeference Information System, which allows us to have permanent access to updated information about coffee growers and coffee farms and plots. Coffee growing in Colombia is a great builder of social capital. Our 500,000 families make up a network of peasants engaged in collective activities who are directly responsible for the sustainable development of their work. The influence extends far beyond the sector and helps to guarantee peace in the whole zone of influence around each coffee growing community. This network has attained benefits and created added values which go far beyond its specific economic activity. For example, its linkage has been responsible for the advent of programs for formal education and health care for whole communities. It has also helped to protect vulnerable members of these communities like women, children and youngsters. Our experience in promoting, developing and implementing programs and projects throughout Colombia is well known. We identify the needs of the communities and have the capacity to summon different allies to finance programs of environmental, social and economic development. The activities of these projects are focused on four basic targets. The coffee farm, rural communities, the environment and the connectivity of coffee growing zones in Colombia. The design management and implementation of social development programs make use of a cross-sectional approach based on human rights and sustainable development. The Coffee Growers Federation undertakes specific programs for the building of a culture of peace through work in the fields of peaceful coexistence, the peaceful solution of conflicts, communication and the promotion of human rights, gender equality and good government. In line with this commitment to the consolidation of peace in Colombia, agreements to support processes for the return and social reintegration of displaced persons are more and more common and have had a positive impact on the regions where coffee is produced. The sustainability of the coffee sector and the coffee growing families is our reason for being. All of our objectives Strategies and activities are guided by that aim. For example, the creation in 1959 of the personage known as Juan Valdez and of the logos which guarantee that our products are 100% Colombian coffee were a breakthrough in the indispensable job of bringing the unique qualities of Colombian coffee to the attention of consumers throughout the world and thus increase demand for our products. Juan Valdez is the oldest as well as the only trademark of coffee created by the producers themselves for their own benefit. It is the most outstanding example of collective action in the world of marketing. Another example of this objective of taking advantage of a famous trademark to promote our products and strengthen the image of Café de Colombia as a synonym of top quality has been the development of the Juan Valdez Cafés whose main aim is to create a world chain which allows us to obtain a higher added value. In the field of commercializing and roasted coffees, the Federation has a specialty coffees program which links associative groups of small producers with broad-ranged markets which afford them high prices and also help them to achieve quality standards. 
This has likewise enabled us to win certifications from international agencies which issue seals guaranteeing fair trade and environmentally friendly production processes. Every step the Federation takes is guided by the awareness that we are the organization which represents Colombian coffee growers. We follow the decisions made by the Federation's democratically elected leaders on the basis of the participation and consultation of our members. We owe our growth to the support of our members, the civil society and government of Colombia, multilateral bodies, countries with which we have international agreements and our clients throughout the world. The result is a great alliance for development. This model of peace and prosperity has been successful for more than 80 years and represents hope and future progress for all Colombians.